Hey, how are you doing? This is Niall from NoCode.Tech and welcome to our first video on the fundamentals of NoCode. I'm going to start this video by answering the most fundamental question of all. What exactly is NoCode? So NoCode refers to tools and platforms that allow a user to build software without ever writing code. In other words, NoCode simply refers to an ecosystem full of different pieces of software which allow a non-technical person to build more software. Now, NoCode might be used by non-technical people with completely no knowledge of computers at all. It could be used by someone technical uh, or semi-technical who's perhaps been in IT before. And of course, it can be used by programmers themselves too. I myself have been a programmer now for somewhere around 10 to 15 years. Um, and I've been in the NoCode scene for roughly around seven or eight years as well. And so I've kind of had the best of both worlds and I've found out that a programmer can work quickly with no code, they can move faster, they can put lots out. Um, and so as much as no code is primarily aimed at non-technical users, it really is usable by anyone. And no code is so usable because typically it works on a drag and drop visual interface. In other words, you'll usually have a piece of software, you'll log in, you'll begin to drag around various different components that make up the, the look and feel of your app, or maybe make up the decision making logic behind it, and that will then allow you to create this software and give it to your own users uh, ready for them to play with. And so as a result of that, people are using no code uh, to make startups, you know, maybe they're making an app that they sell on to people or charge access for. Uh, people are using no code in their business, perhaps it's a business they own, where they're automating some sort of process, or it's in a larger business that they work for, um, where they are, you know, making themselves or their team more productive. And of course, some people are just using no code for some kind of hobby project. Maybe you want to build a game, maybe you want to build an app to manage your greenhouse, it really could be absolutely anything. You know, previously, programming was something that only 0.3% of the world could accomplish. And now we know code, literally anybody can build whatever software they want. But there's one thing to bear in mind here. No code creates software. And that is exactly the same as programming. You might not have to write code, you might not have to worry about syntax or any of these kind of complicated terms, but you are going to have to worry about what does your software do, how does it work, who's going to use it, what devices are they going to use it on, what third party services do you need to access, and so although it's a lot simpler, it's a lot easier, and it is approachable as a non-technical person, there's still a lot to learn and there's a lot of things that go into making a functioning piece of software, and as a result, Sometimes no code is also called visual programming. Programming because you are still programming, but visual because you're obviously doing it in a drag and drop interface most of the time. And so as somebody who is about to learn no code, who's pre presumably about to use no code, we would typically call you either a no coder or a visual programmer or visual developer in fact. So to understand a little bit more about what we can do with no code, I've pulled together this ecosystem picture here. Now I never made this picture, um, but it is one that I found uh, and brought onto the video here. And so I just think it's a it's a great way of demonstrating exactly what no code can do. Now the majority of people um, are going to come on uh, to to no code because they're either building a website, uh, they're building a mobile app, or they want to build uh, you know, some sort of e-commerce site where they're going to sell something, be that shoes or jewellery or furniture, whatever it might be. And so immediately we can see on this picture all the different tools you've got, all the different no-code platforms that are available um, to help you accomplish this goal. For example, if you wanted to build a website, then you've got options like Webflow or Wix or Squarespace. Similarly, if you wanted to build an e-commerce website, you've got Shopify, you've got Weebly, Gumroad. If you wanted to build a mobile app, well, there's five or six different options right there that you can go and dive into. And the reason there's so many different applications or tools that you can use to build your own apps or your own websites is because every no-code tool is fundamentally different. There is no one way to create software. Some tools are going to be easier than others. Some tools are going to be more flexible than others. Some tools it's going to be easier to design an interface, whereas other tools it may be easier um, you know, to make a fast, high-performing app, whatever it may be. So typically when you're looking at what tool you're going to use, and I know there's a lot of them, it can be a little bit daunting, but you're going to be looking at, well, what am I trying to build? 
Uh, does this tool have the features to support it? If it does, then am I personally comfortable with the learning curve? Am I comfortable uh, with the interface? These are all the kind of questions you'll ask yourself and more. So don't be too uh, put off by the sheer number of tools to pick from. As we get uh, kind of later in the, the videos and the tutorials, you're going to understand a lot more about how these tools work. And we're also going to talk about a framework to make sure you pick the right tool for you and for your project. But interestingly, I think this does give you a little bit of um, a guide of what can be done. You know, you can build websites, web apps, e-commerce stores, etc. But you can also look at AI and data science without coding using tools like Guiana, um, like Lobe, etc. You can look at uh, gaming, for example, with Buildbox or uh, Celestery. Uh, of course, you can look at creating 3D stuff with Scapic or Scapic. My pronunciation is not great for these tools, I imagine. Um, and you can also create stuff for a business, you know, internal tools, automation. These are great um, categories if you're looking at an existing business. For example, automating something with Airslate or Brighter, um, building internal tools with Retool or Interno. Um, all of these tools have unique capabilities. And when you put all of these together, you can more or less build anything that you want, anything that you can imagine without actually ever learning to write code. And so let's talk a little bit about where No Code University fits in. Although there are you know, hundreds of different tools out there, perhaps even thousands at this point, almost all of these tools can be used if you have the fundamental mindset of No Code. If you actually understand how No Code works and by extension how computers and software work, then you're going to be able to jump in and use any of those tools, immediately understand if they're right for you, and build anything that you can imagine or think of. And so there's a couple of things to note here. First of all, much of the focus of the university is going to be on helping you learn and understand no code, but it's also about teaching you how to build software in general and apps in an approachable, non-technical way. Even if you immediately decided to go and learn to code, there's a ton of knowledge that you're going to pick up here that will help you um, understand how computers fit together, which frankly is, is half the battle when you're learning to program. Um, but here at No Code University, we're also going to teach you about how to get value out of your software. And what I mean by that is, typically when someone builds a piece of software, they're doing that to achieve a goal. More typically, that is because um, you want to build a piece of software to sell to potential customers, or you want to build a piece of software to help you progress in your career, or help you, um, you know, optimize some sort of business. With this in mind, No Code University is aimed not just at teaching you how No Code works and how to build software, but also how to grow a viable business, how to make something that people want to pay for, how to make a really valuable piece of software that not only does what it's supposed to do, but does it in a beautiful way, does it in a scalable way, uh, and does it with you know things like marketing and, and customer experience built in from the get-go. Now, one of the interesting things to note about No Code University as well we find that really, really often the software that somebody wants to build has already been created before. Maybe, for example, you've got a unique idea to build um, a website that lets people buy and sell shoes, or maybe it's to buy and sell, uh, it could be literally anything, it could be watches, it could be old televisions if you want to get really, really niche, it could be a marketplace for air purifiers, literally anything. Well, that might sound like a very, very unique idea. But actually, there's lots of businesses out there already that aren't about selling air purifiers or shoes, but do the same thing. Think about eBay, think about Amazon, think about Airbnb. Each of these platforms sells very different things, but what they all have in common is you have buyers and sellers, you have the ability to search for a particular item or apartment or product, uh, you have the ability to purchase it, you usually have the ability to speak to the seller directly. Um, and so... For many different ideas, there already exists some sort of uh, example business out there that we can copy. And that's brilliant because you can look at examples, you can learn some of the lessons uh, that they've already learned and apply that to your own software. And so here in our school or our no-code university, you're not only going to learn about the theory of software creation and sort of you know, how to think about it and apply it in no-code tools, but you're also going to learn how to build software that feels like stuff you're already using today, like Uber, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, and almost always in these videos, even if they feel unrelated to your own idea, there's going to be one or two tips or one or two little bits of functionality that you want that you can take over and clone and use in your own idea as well. 
So, to be a little bit more concrete about what No Code University is and how it's going to help you, there's three main things that make up the university. First of all is content, you know, like this session here, you're going to have access to a massive library of content and you're completely free to go through that at your own pace. If you want to put in an hour a week, brilliant, go ahead. If you want to dedicate all day, every day for the next two months, you can do that as well. Um, and so you're also free as a result to go through the library in whatever way you like. If you feel that you're getting it really quickly, you can jump on and just start, um, you know, creating stuff. On the other hand, if you want to take your time, take notes, go through it, that's all fine as well. We're going to teach you the fundamentals of software development. We're going to teach you how to apply them uh, to no-code tools. We're going to look at the basics of various no-code tools. So all the stuff we're talking about in terms of fundamentals, how do you actually do that in a tool? And then, of course, we're going to show you how to build lots of example software. You can use as much of that or as little of that as you like. But the good thing to know is there's going to be new content coming out every week, every month that's going to keep you either um, on the, the latest developments in no-code tools or is going to make sure that as your business grows, you can build the features that you need to support it. You might have launched a basic app today, but what happens tomorrow when you want to start taking payments or when you want to uh, send a newsletter, you want to start um, tracking what your users are doing so you can figure out how to improve the product. All this kind of stuff is where we will add more and more content to help you on your journey from launching a piece of software right through to getting some success out of it. So content is one major part, but another major part, of course, are our events and workshops. And so every week we're going to run workshops with lots of different experts, and that will be covering things like no-code development, it could be sales, it could be automation, it could be marketing, lots of other fundamentals. And I've said here business fundamentals. Clearly, um, what a lot of our university is aiming to help you with is you know, beginning your own startup, building an app, and then being able to, to launch that all without code. But equally, if you're somebody who is functioning within an existing small business, medium business, or enterprise, we're going to have lots of content there, events, workshops, etc., to help you as well. And perhaps one of the most interesting parts about that is our office hours. Uh, so office hours is a session that we will run every week where you can come along, you can chat to me and some of our other instructors uh, in real time, ask us questions, get help with something, show off what you've built, but otherwise it's just a great place to come and get some one-to-one -one advice there as well. And then to me, probably the most valuable part of the university is the community. So by being a member here, you'll be able to access all areas of our uh, nocode.tech community. You'll be able to get advice from your peers, from other people. You'll be able to meet other people who are, I guess, doing the same journey that you are. You know, they're learning no code, they're trying to get value out of their software. And as a result, you'll be able to meet people there who can keep you on a track and accountable and help you with any problems that you might have. So that all sounds like a lot. But let me tell you why I think our approach is an important one. First of all, no code, as I say, is not that different to programming. It's accessible, it's quicker, it's much more fun and enjoyable, and I say that as a programmer myself. I'm sure there's people who disagree with me. But fundamentally, you're still telling computers what to do, and that means things are going to be complex. You know, you're going to have to understand how computers and software actually fit together, how they actually work. We see so many people um, who find a quick no-code tutorial that says, oh, you know, here's how you can build your own version of Airbnb, for example, and they dive in and they build something that feels uh, maybe 80% uh, of what they were trying to build, but then they hit into a problem. Because they don't actually understand how software works, how no-code works, they can't then take you know, that example software and turn it into their own thing. They can't build that last feature they wanted. They can't get around some sort of bug or constraint. And so really what we're going to try and do here with this fundamental series is teach you the key concepts and the key thinking that you need to actually understand no code and get the use out of it. Now, you might be sitting there thinking, well, aren't you just basically teaching me programming? And no, it's not like that. It's a lot easier. Um, it's a lot more non-technical. And it really just dials down to four key pillars and then some concepts within those key areas uh, that are, that you're going to you know apply and use probably on a daily basis when you're actually using no code. Um, so really what am I saying here? Well, 
If you take the time to learn the fundamentals, that means you're going to be able to build an app right from the start. It's going to save you a ton of time in the future. It's going to improve um, the quality of everything that you build and put out there. It's going to improve your ability to actually build the things that you can picture and imagine in your head or draw on paper. And as a result, it means you're going to find more success. You're going to make more money or whatever other metric you're measuring yourself by. Um, and so... You know, I think that's something to keep in mind throughout the entirety of this fundamental series, but also through your entire time uh, working with us here at No Code University. Um, And one other thing to keep in mind as well, uh, a lot of people will ask, is it no code or one word? Is it no code with a hyphen or is it no space code? Clearly, we like no code uh, is all one word. You know, it's a word that we use. It's the name of the website. It's the name of the brand. Um, And I said earlier that if you're somebody who uses no code, as in the whole term no code, not just our website, um, then you are a no coder. And of course, that's also what we refer to people in our own community as you're a no coder by being here. And welcome to the club, you know. Um, So we kind of use all of these terms interchangeably. I don't really care if you use a hyphen or not. I don't really think there's one way to do it or another. Um, Typically, if you use the words no and code, whatever way you do it, I'm going to know what you're talking about and so are most other people as well. Um, So you'll have noticed in this presentation, we use no code or one word. We use no hyphen code. It wasn't a mistake. Um, We didn't make uh, some sort of error there. We really are just going to use that interchangeably throughout all of nocode.tech. Um, and it's up to you to decide which term you want uh, as well. No hyphen code is probably the most popular out there, um, but use whatever you want uh, as you go, you know. So at this point, you now know what no code actually is. You understand it, um, and we're probably ready to go and crack on and tell you a little bit more. So in subsequent videos, we're going to cover you know, in a little bit more detail, what can you really do with no code? Um, You're probably at the point where you're still assessing, you've got an idea, is this really going to be possible? Is this, is this genuinely true? Is this genuinely believable? Am I actually going to be able to create this without code? Well, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to explain to you how no code works, all the things that you can do with it. And then of course, we'll dive into the fundamental um, uh, pillars of how you can build no code apps all by yourself. So jump onto the next video and we'll get started.